guys it's Deandra here welcome and welcome back I just came home from work and I have a few packages so this one is a rarity on my channel but it will be an unboxing the first item that I ha I'm going to show you guys is I think I'm going to split it up into two um, Portland leather goods I know I trash talk them a lot be mainly because I and I still stand by my statement um, their leather Textures look great, but I like a more refined finish. So I love Leatherology in comparison to what people buy from them for. And I'll link, link my leather, Leatherology um, video down below. But this I think would be a good alternative to the Fendigraphy bag or Fendography. Um, I hope I'm saying it right. I think it's Fendigraphy bag. I will put up the picture. I like the shape of that bag a lot. And particularly, I like the um, wool checkered one or um, plaid one in gray. Oh my gosh, it looks so beautiful. But nonetheless, I have the package here. I'm going to open it. Um, I saw this bag. I was actually looking at a coach bag and looking it up from a previous um, YouTuber that I was watching. It was the Kara bag crossbody bag specifically because they have two sizes and this one came up on google and i immediately put into cart it was on sale and i bought it this is what it looks like inside they just put in tissue there's a little paper behind here it says welcome to the fam <laughs> okay portland leather goods yes and it says to join their PLG Insider community. Let's see if I would be a believer from this bag, but I honestly don't think I will be buying another bag unless something like this happens again, in which a design calls to me. So let me put down the box. Here is the tissue paper. Let's unravel. there we go so as you can see this is like a moon crescent shape that's really in and as you know the fendigraphy bag is pretty much like that um it has the fendi um so logo not logo but the sign words letters at the bottom and that's what drew me not to buy the bag it's a bit obnoxious don't get me wrong it looks beautiful and i think that um was a creative um aspect of the bag and i think it goes with the bag holistically but i could never see myself wearing that casually and having those big leathers stamped at the bottom i'm sorry for the ice cream truck guys but okay so this is the bag that i got it does have unfinished edges which i knew portland leather goods is like anyway but I felt like this color, cause they have it in different multiple colors actually. This one spoke the, to me the most and hid the fact that it has those unfinished edges the most. So what I mean by unfinished edges, it has no glazing. So you're seeing the raw texture of the le leather. If you care for that, if you like that rustic look, fine. I personally don't, but I know exactly this would be good for every day um for anything really um so this is perfect for me and as you can see you can adjust it it has one two three notches right here um and it has that age gold look or brassy look more brassy not gold uh, uh aged brassy look in terms of the hardware um i'll come up closer so you can see it I got the smooth leather instead of the pebbled leather and as you can see there's no glazing and that's what I mean by the unfinished nature of the bag. Um, it just gives you the raw leather, no glazing. And this is the other side. I can tell this is already going to be prone to scratches because I do see a few scratches already. Um, I see one here, another one here yeah i'm seeing scratches already so i know this is going to be prone to scratching but smooth leather that's what it is and this is their signs here the trees is for portland leather goods 
um, which is enough branding for me. That's much better than the Fendi st um, letters stamped at the bottom for me. I forgot to show you the inside. <laughs> so before I end things, let me show that to you. Um, let me take out the stuffing. So one thing to notice, um, apparently Portland Leather Goods doesn't do dust bags. So that's something to make note. And just for warning, the interior is black, so this will be hard to show. And without the stuffing, it's pretty structured just the same. It doesn't slouch much at all. I have a crease here. I think it's just somehow it was packaged um, and so forth. But yes. So here is the interior. Um, yeah, as I said, it is a bit hard to show. Here is a slip pocket. And then on the other side, there is nothing. So yeah, there's nothing in this bag. It's just an empty pocket with a slip pocket back here. Um, and that slip pocket is pretty wide. It will hold my phone. Let me show that for you. Here's my phone. And here that goes right in, right in there. Okay. Yeah, as I said, this is really hard to show but hopefully you're getting the gist. The inside of the bag is the raw texture of the bag. You're not getting a liner, which is no problem for me. I have very few bags like this, but the ones that I do have, I have no problem with it. Um, I don't care for that fluff and buff in terms of um, a, re a finished nature of the bag. More of the finished nature of the bag is these edges and so forth. I'll give it a close up if you guys can see the texture. Yeah, there's no glazing but I don't mind the inside not having a liner all the time. This is how it looks on my person. It looks super, super cute. Oh, it looks super cute. I like the shape. I knew I always loved this shape. And I, out of all the crescent shapes that has come out from different fashion houses, different brands, contemporary alike, I only liked the Fendi one. I did, I, that's the only one that I liked. I know Kate Spade came out with their own different versions. I, so many different brands has gone under this moon crescent shape um, trend, which is fine because it's a trend, but none of them spoke to my soul besides the Fendi. And I found my Fendi alternative. I wish Fendi would come out with ones without the Fendi words at the bottom in that same wool plaid pattern because I love that bag. I would get it in a heartbeat. They could put Fendi somewhere else. I really don't care. Just not so obnoxious. And um, even if they just keep it in the inside, I'll be fine too. Just, just not as obnoxious. But yes, this is my alternative. Tell me what you guys think. Do you think this is a, a good alternative for the Fendi Fendigraphy bag? Um, what do you think about this bag itself? What do you think about the unfinished edges? I personally think because of the color, it is hidden. So I'm fine with this. I'm not returning. And this was going to be um, a trial. Like if I didn't like it, I would send it back because I didn't spend much money on this. I didn't spend much money at all. I'm just looking at my phone to see how much I paid for this. And I got it for $84 because it was on sale and it was originally $195, so I could not pass it uh, at all, especially because I love the bag shape. And if you guys are curious, this style is called Almost Perfect Nora Shoulder Bag. So yeah, this is the new addition to my closet. It's definitely giving me fall vibes because the weather is definitely changing. But this can be an all weather, all year round bag for sure. Um, I'll keep you guys updated on this. I doubt there will be another um, Portland Leather Goods purchase in the near future unless they surprise me with a good design. <laughs> okay, but yes, this is the new purchase. Thank you guys for watching and thanks for tuning in. Bye.